All right, guys, we are here. We are at Fu Guanshan Temple. It's a big temple. Very nice temple. So funny story just happened. I didn't have change to get in the bus, and I had to ask so many people in the bus if they can exchange. And finally, an older woman uh, did the favor to exchange my my bills. And now here I am. After 40 minutes of riding, take like a 10 minute nap. What? They have a Starbucks in the temple. Tiramisu. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting one of those for sure. And there's a little like grocery market here. <laughs> so apparently it can take up to five hours to explore this entire place which is crazy but I don't have that much time in five hours I have to I have other places to be as well I think it's actually time to use my drone I brought it for this I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use my drone let's use the drone Niri was born into the lowly Sudra caste, one of the four castes in ancient India. His job was to dispose of human waste. One day, while transporting human waste, Niri crossed paths with the Buddha. Feeling ashamed of his inferiority, Niri avoided the Buddha. The Buddha, however, gently called to him, Niri, there is no need to hide carrying human waste. It's hard work. Would you allow me to carry a load for you? Deeply moved, Niri knelt down to the ground and wept. He eventually took refuge in the Buddha and became his disciple. So this is how it is during festivities here in Taiwan. When they're celebrating, it's the same place where I am right now. As you see, it gets filled out with thousands of people to celebrate. It must be a nice experience being here during the night. Love and peace. Alright, let's go up and see the big Buddha. So I entered a room also uh, not too long ago. Um, the only thing is that they did not allow to film or take pictures because there was a sacred Buddha in there and this entire oh my god this is so nice <laughs> hey this is so nice the entire thing I'm gonna show you guys the entire thing here uh, the visit everything is completely free the only fee that you have to pay is for the transportation which is uh, 70 ta Taiwanese dollars when I entered the Buddha uh, uh, room there was no pictures allowed uh, I actually donated like uh, 500 uh, Taiwanese dollars let me see how much that is because I didn't even calculate it but honestly this is a very nice place so 500 Taiwanese how much was that I just want to clarify 70 Taiwanese dollars for the bus was is three dollars Canadian now I donated 500 how much is that 
Okay, I shouldn't have done that. I just donated $20. That was way too much. Oh. <laughs> what? I just freaking donated 500 Taiwanese dollars. That is 20 Canadian dollars. I can't freaking believe it. I just took a bill like that and I just threw it. Oh my god, I can't even take it back. They better take those. They better use that money very well. Anyways, oh man. $20 I just gave out like that. Can't believe it. Ah, oh, anyways, look at this guys. It's very nice. There's the Buddha over there. It's a very nice wall. Very nice. I honestly still can't believe I just donated 20 Canadian dollars. Ah, oh, man. Next time I'll be very, very careful. Can't believe it. So I just went where the big Buddha is again because I wanted to take more pictures and more drone footage as well and uh, after 10-15 minutes no one knew what was that sound in the, in the air until they saw my drone and then some monks came to me and they're like uh, no 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 picture like that no picture like that I'm like uh, English please because they were saying all that but in Mandarin so then they were like no 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 bring down bring down I'm like oh, okay but lucky me I got enough footage for my drone so I'm one lucky guy and in the future if ever you want to do some drone footage near the Buddha in this temple uh, keep in mind that you won't be able to look at this scene so beautiful I think it's like 30 degrees right now. Hey, it's hot. It's hot. I think I spent enough time over here. It's time to go back. Uh, there's a lot of more people now. So I strongly recommend this place. If ever you come here, make sure you come the first bus ride in the morning. First thing in the morning, you wake up, have your breakfast, go to 7-Eleven, do whatever you gotta do and then come here so you can spend some time getting some knowledge of the Buddha and the knowledge and the preach the good things that come along with uh, Buddhism okay So in overall guys, I strongly recommend this place, uh, you're gonna gain some knowledge, you're gonna learn new stuff about the Buddha culture and the religion and uh, what they preach, what they do, what they have accomplished in life with peace, harmony and love. It's a beautiful place to come and actually uh, learn new stuff actually, you know, it doesn't hurt. The more you learn about different cultures, the more your mind opens up to other people and the more you can understand from where they come from. So it's a very nice experience to, to have, to travel, not only to travel, but to meet new people and the way they treat you. Uh, so far here in Taiwan, the people are so wonderful. They're so nice to me. Whenever I got lost, I asked for help and they come and help me out. Like they tried their best to, to help me so I, I can understand what's happening or Sometimes they happen to follow me or they they take me somewhere and they're trying to translate it but with hand signals Even though there's that barrier of communication because of the language They still try their best to help me out and this is what I like So not only are you seeing beautiful nice uh, sceneries in, in, in the country but you're also seeing and communicating with new people that 
from the other side of the world they're trying their best to make you feel comfortable in their homeland and this is what the, the Buddhism religion it's about peace harmony and love we can see that that's being practiced daily and uh, it's a wonderful thing to experience so as you can see this is the last time I'm seeing this temple and the big Buddha I strongly recommend 